So I've just been trying this servo motor on ramps. I put a little black line on there just so I can make sure I know how far it's turning. It does have some power, I've just held it and I can't really sh show you that because you know I could be faking that anyway, but it certainly has some power. Um, I'll show you, I'll plug this in if I can in the ramps board so you can see we've got red and black and yellow basically red and black positive and negative and the yellow is like the servo signal so here's my ramps in a cheap cardboard cutout box I've put thrown together myself I won't talk about the rest of you uh, can you see this where are we? Just a second. Let's see. And several plugged in there. It's the second part from the end. The first part has a BL touching. The second part has a servo in, I've just been showing you, that's black, red and yellow going to the inside there. And the very last part here, there is a gap of one, there's four parts, servo parts, I mean the very last one is used for the filament run out detection switch, basically. The ways are going over the top of that, so we've got, we've got the all the pins here, some are auxiliary pins. Why they haven't used like auxiliary pins for the run out of filament, I don't know. And you can see the stepper driver sticks there. Power supply, well, the power is coming in over that direction. Can't really see that, can we? No, it's hard to see because of all the wires, like a rat's nest in here. I'll show you this working just now and I'm using Pronto Face so I'll try and link in two things at once. I aren't using this to control this, I don't know if it's really possible to use the LCD12864 but I can use what is known as Pronto Face and send commands across. Just G code M280, the port number which is P1 because we're starting at zero, the BL touches, I'll show you that again, so we know what's happening. Okay. So I'll try and show you this, so we've got the BL touch which is in part zero, we've got the new stepper motor in part one, and we've got nothing in part two, and we've got this run out filament detection switch, Basically, it's just a micro switch in part three. So it's P0, P1, P2, P3. Those are the choices for the servos. So this is the uh, round here is the LCD12864 at this end. Leave us well, sort of at the bottom of this, this video now. Okay. So here's the LCD12864 in this adjustable stand as far as online for this. So ball and socket sort of joint and can adjust at different angles. But anyway, we're talking about this servo uh, here. So I'll show you this working. So there's a previous command M280P1S. 90, I'm going to change that to zero. Zero S zeros. 
that will take that little line down to the bottom. Now you can, suppose I know you can only move 180 degrees, so I'll do, I'll do S45. Uh, and I can get the keys to type right. So here's S45. Just took it to about 45 degrees there. Nine. Ninety. 90 degrees. Or if I want to go back, you don't do minus, so as I know, you need to do, that's still 33 degrees. So this will take us back a bit. And basically that's it. So that's giving it like the servo control there. I just talk, this is just only come today, and you get quite a package of different what are known as horns. So you can unscrew this disc which has put the holes in and put something like this on these are for like controlling model cars or airplanes and such like so you get quite a good package i think you can get some shock absorbers some screws and other things i'll put the ebay seller on here it came extremely quick i think it came in about a day so that's using that on ramps the idea here is actually to have this set up maybe to do uh, like wipe the nozzle eventually. So that's using a servo on this ramps. Obviously the wire here that comes with this servo I would estimate about 500 millimeters long or something. So it's not massively long. Don't quote me on that size of the wire. Now this does have some power. Now it is possible to get these to continue rotate. I'm not going to do that with this I don't think. No need to. But that works okay as you're seeing. So I'll just finish off. I'll just finish off by doing the 180 which is the maximum. And that goes like 180 degrees from the bottom straight up so it's almost straight down and going straight up. And then here we are Marlin so you need to find RC servo support or number of servos. As I say there's four parts on here zero to three And you also need to do a delay for each of the parts, one, two, three, four. But it takes time for the servo to move. Now you might have to vary that depending on the speed of the servo, basically. But for each of the parts you need to have a, this is the standard default, like a 300 for each of the parts you have set up. So it's P0 is the first one. Then one, two, three. That's four parts. Okay, so you need to have that set up in Marlin. And 